first reason I wanted to come to the college um, as the second intake of girls at the college um, was mainly because I thought it would be a new challenge for me. At my old school I became so accustomed to the same old things but now being one of the very few girls at an all boys school I just felt like this would change my mindset a lot and just give me new skills and ones that I wouldn't have been able to get at my old school. But here I wanted to showcase um, what I could do and um, also show the boys that I could do everything that they could do as well. Um, so yeah, it just really gave me the confidence that I needed. When I started my service projects, we had to do them a slightly different way than they had done them previous years at the college um, due to COVID. So we ended up working at the college and we worked with the workforce. And this was um, honestly quite life-changing for me, working with these people that normally most people would just walk past and not really take note of. I gained a new appreciation for them that I don't think that I really had before and this has changed the way I see the world completely because now I see what people do for me, people that you wouldn't notice before like you come to the bathrooms at school, they're clean, you don't know how they got clean but now working in that environment just really showed me like wow people really do things for us that we don't even take note of and that I just really appreciate that. For A-level A I'm currently studying maths, biology and chemistry. I wanted to do something that's helping people. So I'm thinking about branching into the medical industry, but I'm not quite certain what it is, but whatever it is, I want to help as many people as I can. When I went to Lama Gandhi as part of the um, St. George's athletics team, I did high jump, um, of which I came first in, and I jumped a height of one meter and 55 centimeters. And that really meant a lot to me because Coming from COVID, we weren't able to do sports um, for a very long time and I kind of let my high jump settle a bit. So coming back into that and winning an event after not doing sports for so long was such an honour for me. When I was made a prefect, my very first emotion was joy. I was so happy um, to have gotten the opportunity. And when I was in Form 1, I remember all of my prefects when I was in Form 1. They impacted me so much and I just wanted to instill that same thing to my Form 1s and my juniors, everyone below me. And the biggest thing about being a prefect is being there to help the people that are around you, as well as guide them. Because um, what I remember is Form 1s, 2s and 3s, they all look up to you so much. They want to be like you. So I wanted to be the example, the person that they could look up to. When I received my full colours for academics, I was so grateful. Uh, studying for the A level, my AES levels for me was so hard. Um, it was not an easy process, and um, I do think that I am natural, naturally intelligent. But I think it really just came down to the hard work that I put in. So when I got my full colours, I was overcome with joy, and I was so grateful, and I felt so proud to wear the white blazer. And being a girl wearing the white blazer as well, I think it just says something. Um, for the women at the school and for any other women that want to come to the school, that it's possible. And just because you're a woman doesn't mean that you're going to be below any of the men that are here. When I represent the college, um, be it in debates or interact, whatever I, I do, um, I feel very proud and it makes me feel like I'm a part of something so much greater because I remember so many people before me have worn the red blazer and so many people after me are going to wear this red blazer and it just reminds me I'm a part of this community um, and what I want to do is make this community proud and do my best in everything that I do for it. What advice I would give to a girl that is interested in coming to the college um, is first of all to not be afraid. I know it can seem intimidating and scary to come into um, a school that was a boys school for so long but it's just it's a nice new challenge for the girls and um, it just reminds you that as a woman you can do anything that a man can do and it's so lovely to see the looks on the boys faces when they see that you can do everything that they can do maybe even better in some cases.